Lastly, we did also notice that you know we chose the up down over a, and, and the particular construction over something like a ranking semi final because we felt it wasn't realistic to expect people to absorb and positively rank maybe 15 items. This is meant to be a short, sharp filter to enable um, people to say, effectively, we want to know award certain items at this stage. Thank you. Mr. Blog. Gary Blog, I'd like I move that we add both a sunrise and sunset amend, uh, provisions on this amendment, sunrise in 2018, 20, and sunset in 2021. Already has a sunset. Hmm? There is a sunset clause. For every year between now and 2022, so your 2021 sunset is okay. already in. Sorry, the, <laughs> the, the deputy noted that there is already a sunset clause for every year between 20... Between now and 2022, so the 2021 is already in. Ms. Paddle, for what purpose does it... Could you... <coughs> Parliamentary inquiry. If passed this year, it would have to be ratified next year and would not go into effect till 2018? Or that am is, I... That is true. Then as we do not need a sunrise clause because, as stated, it already does that. Yes. Mr. Kowalczyk. I have not yet heard one. Is there a second for the motion? I believe the motion was withdrawn. Oh, well, okay. Is there a speech against 3SV? Mr. Yallo. In general, I am in favor of things that decrease the power of slates. Unfortunately, while 3SV is, I believe, well-intentioned, what 3SV forces the voters to do is to take a look at 15 works and make the political decision that these works are on the ballot for reasons that they find politically unacceptable. I believe that we should be looking at the merits of the works and not as some of the people who construct slates and claim that they are doing it for political reasons. I don't want to play Vox Day's game. I want to judge the works on their merits and not to make political statements. And there isn't time as 3SV is constructed for people to make other than political judgments on the merits of the work. Miss Faber, a speech in favor? Kat Faber, um, I would just like to say that I think it's pretty clear when you look at these works, which works were nominated for harassment or grieving purposes. So I don't understand why it's going to take a long time to make those judgments. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Kowalczyk. He doesn't, he's asking for. Yeah, yeah. Even this might be controversial. Yeah. Are those the long lists? Yeah. Which one is that? So ask people to raise their hands if they've got a couple. Yeah, so Mr. Kowalczyk is going to pass out some copies of the long list awards, or long list from last night's awards. So that was the, that was the point of personal privilege. Is there a speech against the, yes, you. I don't want to call people you, but. <laughs> I don't know your name. We're all about to know your name. Yeah, 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 we yeah. are. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Stephanie Sullivan. I am against 3SV because in, from everything that I can see, it's adding more negativity to our community. We are always all responsible. Our uh, esteemed writer of this has, has explained that he wants to put the, the community 
at the heart of this. And I believe with this, we're actually taking a section of our community out of it when there are better ways to actually stop the puppy slates. Anything can be gamed when there is a consensus vote if the sample size is small enough. The best way honestly for us to actually stop the gaming of this system is to be positive, to be putting more positivity into our community and actually rallying around the Hugo Awards to get more people involved. Because the more people who are actually involved, the less likely it is and the less influence that these smaller groups actually have. So that is the reason why I am against 3SV. Thank you. Mr. Actually, you haven't spoken, so. Do, you. you. Yes, you. you. <laughs> In the gray shirt. The one with you, the hair and the beard. You with, with the, the face. <laughs> oh, that's so descriptive. <laughs> David Dyer Bennett. Um, I like. Uh, yeah, eat it a little more. I like Ben's hope for less obvious politics and trust in people, except that already last night in just the second really serious year of this, I remember two specific statements that I may be forgetting. One, where winners felt it was necessary to comment very specifically on this politics while accepting their Hugos. And that doesn't seem to me to be an actual effective way to keep that political sort of thing um, less of a big deal, less visible. Speech. I, I believe it was in favor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to rule that that was in favor. Let's have an against. <laughs> I'm looking for a speech against Mr. Goldstein. Ari Goldstein. Um, sort of uh, working off what Mr. Gallo was saying, given the fact that uh, the more time you create, the, the more time pressure you create for the voters, the less, of a, uh, the less of a subsection of those voters are actually going to have the leisure time and the basically bandwidth, to use a term, to actually make informed decisions. So by adding this extra step, you're actually uh, also going off of the sample size issue. You're actually shrinking the, the sample size that are going to be making those decisions to the people who actually have the time and uh, inclination to make ba effectively two sets of votes. So in my opinion, and I think the, the data, uh, if you're trying to prevent slates, this will actually make some of the slates more powerful because people who don't care what they're actually reading, they're actually making it for, politically, for purely political reasons. They're going to they're going to vote in everything. Uh, a good example in the American politics is the NRA. They're a very small group, but they're all very motivated and, they, and they're one issue voters, so they have a lot more influence. In this way, by adding this extra step, you're going to increase the power of the uh, of blocks who are willing to vote for for not because of the merits, but because of political reasons. And that's why I think while three SV is a is well intentioned, I do believe it's it's actually counterproductive to what we want to do here. Mr. McCarty, I saw you. Hi, my name is Dave McCarty. Um, I believe that we are already engaged in what 3SV is doing. We're just now vo forced to do it at voting time. Um, the only, the one idea that everybody has in their heads that I think is incorrect is that our nomination process is a democratic vote. We never build to a majority on anything. Democracy is about majority rule. We're taking small pluralities and picking the best, which is how a small group is able to game the system. The two ways to fix that, since it's a poll of taste rather than a democratic process, is either to uh, have the administration team weight the answers as any pollster would do, uh, which I believe the room would not support, or adopt a democratic process. This is very clearly, in all the cases, voting, building to a democratic majority in all the cases, which is how you overcome a perverse minority using democracy. 